Hi, welcome to Irish Angling Adventures. So, here we have the Accius Nitron F15. Uh, we got sent this a couple of months ago now by Accius, basically just to test it out, see how it really performs, see how we got on it. This is the prototype model, so there's a few changes between this and the production model is actually now out um, on sale. We'll go through a few of those kind of changes in a little bit. Um, we basically just tried to put the reel through its paces. We've fished everything from kind of clean ground, sandy beaches for flatfish, bass and painted ray right up to kind of fishing rough ground where you have a lot of kelp, snags for basically ray, congers, huss um, and a few kind of bigger fish like that. Empty! Almost no, I'm not getting there, not quite. So the few changes they've made between this pre-production model and the release model is the shoulders have been reduced on the spool to increase line capacity. Um, this spool, if you look at some of the pictures we have, the shoulders on the reel are quite large. They've reduced them down and it holds about an extra 80 yards, a 0.47 line. Uh, so that's about 20 pound line and it makes a big difference when you're casting at range. Um, they've reduced the tolerance between the cage and the spool so problems we run into is if we got overruns or snap ups we were getting a loop of line caught between the spool and the, the cage so they listened to a lot of reviewers and they reduced that tolerance down so it doesn't happen at all from what I've seen anymore and um, as well the colour of the reel so the pre-production models came with a matte finish they just got the hydro dipped carbon fibre effect and that's what they were shipped with. The production models have a glass coat around them, which is even more protection on the reel. Um, so that'll be one difference you see between this pre-production model and the release model. Um, but saying that, even this one, as it doesn't have that extra coating, we haven't minded it. It's no. been thrown around left in the bottom of the seat box with all the other reels. Um, it's been on the rocks, yeah. been knocked about, and you can't find a scratch on no, this reel. And we have abused it. We, have, we haven't minded it at all. Um, and basically, yeah, there's not, there's not a mark anywhere on the reel. So it does bode very, very well. Like yeah. with the extra coating, it, it I'd say it'd be, be just good. indestructible. There shouldn't be any issues with longevity. Yeah. thoughts on the reel is it's a really nice reel the size of the reel is really nice it's a nice palm just over palm sized reel it sits incredibly low on the rod so you get a really good grip of the spool when you're going up for those pendulums and off the ground casts you get a really good grip on it and um, the ratchet on the reel is nice and loud it's not crazy loud it's very nice and um, the Every, everything has a click to it, so the mag has a click. You can adjust it into small increments, and so does the drag. The one thing that would like, or the two things that would like to be changed is the throw of the handle and the actual handle itself, so the grip on the handle. So the problem with the handle is when you're trying to bully fish in over rough ground and kelp, you really want that crank and power. So being able to increase the length of the handle would really help with that. And the, hand, the grip itself, it's an offset kind of rugby ball shape so it's a bit hit and miss if you like it or don't like it personally we both aren't fans of it it's in the event you get you end up hooking into a pb fish or something and you're panicking if you grip the handle wrong you kind of have to let go and grab it again which could mean the difference between that fish um but if you got something like a golf ball handle that's on the Accius orions or even a rugby ball handle it would make a huge difference to the reel because you, you're not messing around if you grip it wrong. You cannot grip those two handles wrong. Yeah, very, very comfortable yeah. once you grip it right. Yeah, but it if, is. If, if you catch it the wrong way around, you don't have the leverage. Yeah, it just doesn't it, feel it, comfortable. It, it doesn't feel comfortable. Um, but it, like as long as you pick it up the right way and you actually look at what you're doing, yeah. it, is, it is fine. It is fine. Say some people do love it. Um, not personally. I'd no. just be able to grab the reel without looking at it and kind of know where everything is yeah. um, and start actually fighting the fish. Um, other than that, like, no, the reel is, there is nothing. It is a very nice reel. It's the first attempt at a, a kind of a rough ground reel. Yeah, it is 
a very much a casting reel that has been designed for fishing, which is very different to everything that's on the market, which have kind of ended up towards bow reels that have been designed for casting, which is, it's just on a whole class of its own when it comes to distance. Mm. It really is. You can get baits any distance you want. And with the control of the mag, it's so easy to just dial it in yeah. and make perfect cast every single time. And the retrieve is really, really good. Yeah. Great retrieve, but it's just very, very difficult to keep the power down with, yeah, yeah, with the, with small the smaller throw. throw. Um, and that's, I think, really the only fault. Yeah, that's the only the only fault we can come across in the reel is the handle. Some people have their preferences on the colours and whether they like the colour or yeah. not, but as as a reel to actually do the work, we it's haven't had any no, issues with it. It's absolutely perfect. Like we've fished really, really rough ground with it. Yeah. Like fishing twenty, twenty five pound mono on it. Um and basically we haven't had anything no. fail on it. No. no issues. So absolutely it hasn't even scratched. It's absolutely perfect. Yeah. Um overall it's Pricey, but it seems to be that's that's the price of kind of getting these heavier duty kind of rougher yeah. reels. And the fact it's already um, magged, there's not a lot of reels that will do this, the 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 rough ground and be as well magged as this is. Like the, you're not getting a lot of reels that are within this price range for it. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, other than that, we really do like the reel, and um, we can't really fault other than the handle and. And I'd say if you do get the handle or you do get the reel and you don't really like the handle, yeah. you can swap over handles, obviously. Yeah, so. we've swapped over handles to the Accurate Orion, Daiwa HSHs, Fathoms, Pen Mags, all, all the handles fit. So if you aren't a fan of the handle, it is very easy to get an aftermarket handle for it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, overall. Yeah, excellent reel. Happy with Absolutely. the reel. It's a very good reel for the first attempt at a heavy duty rough ground reel. Yeah, he's off. There were thoughts on the Accios Nitron F15. If you enjoy the review, uh, give us a like and subscribe. You can follow us on social media on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. It's gone as well. Quite an issue, never made it out. The leader not is there. <laughs>